Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a piercing video which I've never done on this channel so I thought I would do one as I got a new piercing yesterday. So I've written down on my phone everything that I want to talk about in this video so if I keep looking back it's because I want to make sure that I mention everything that I wanted to say. So the first thing is you probably want to know what I got pierced and it's not like a massive and major piercing but I'm so so happy with it. So I got my second lobe pierced, I hope you can see it well, but it's like this pink um, gem that just catches the light. I've had my first one done since I was like 8 or something, but I got this done on both ears yesterday. So yeah, this is what it looks like and I'm really in love with it. The blue stuff around it is just the pen, I don't know if you can see that, but obviously it will wash off over time. Now the second thing I've got here is where I got it done. So I was in Brighton for practically two days because it was my friend's birthday and we went and stayed down there for those two days and had a couple of days out in Brighton and we went clubbing and it was so much fun. And then the last day we were there, I woke up and I was like, I wanna get my ear pierced. Very spontaneous idea, but yeah. So, cause we were in Brighton, I got it done in Brighton because I wanted it done so badly. I've heard some really good things about punctured in Brighton. I've seen a few YouTubers get their ears pierced there, such as Gabby, um, as in Gabrielle Lindley, and also Saffron Barker. So, I'd seen a couple of videos on it before and I also researched it and it was pretty good. I rung the place before I went and I asked them on prices and things like that and if you had to book an appointment. They said they weren't too busy that day so they'd be able to fit me in and I should go down there to see what jewellery they had as it all depends on which jewellery you have to the price. Which moves on to my next thing which is how much I paid. It's not money because of the piercing and, well not the piercing, it's the earring that I wanted. It's a thick bar, so it's thicker than a normal um, earring. So it was like £51 altogether. And yeah, it's because I wanted a sparkly one because I can't change it for a while. So I wanted to look cute. Number four I've got on here is the pain level. I wasn't even scared at all because I've had my lobe done before and I was so young when I had that done, I can't even remember. If it was bad, I would have remembered. So I wasn't even nervous at all. I had my first ones done at Claire's with like a gun, so they'd done them both at the same time. Whereas this one was done with a needle, so she did them each separately. Well, boy, I was wrong. Lobes do hurt. <laughs> like, they don't hurt that bad, but I've never had cartilage or anything pierced, so I can't compare it to that. But it hurt more than I thought it was going to hurt. I'll probably rate it probably about 5 out of 10 for pain. Um, yeah, I mean I have my belly button pierced as well and that didn't even hurt compared to my lobes, but everyone is different. Moving on to the aftercare, so they gave me this little pink sheet, it says punctured on the top, which I think is a very cool name for a piercing shop. On here it has all the information you need to look after your piercing, so um, the first bullet point is if there is any dressing on your piercing, you cannot remove it until four to six hours has passed. It's not relevant to me because I had no dressing on mine. Next is you can't touch piercing for the first day, so obviously I didn't touch it, I didn't want to touch it, it was kind of throbbing a little bit afterwards. Next it just says how to keep it clean, so you can either buy some like saline solution from the piercing shop, or you can mix salt with hot water. Um, and then just get a cotton bud or a cotton pad and just clean around the front and back. It just says don't pick it because it could um, like make unnecessary bleeding and like cause infection, which I wouldn't want to pick it anyway. And then it just says you can't change it for four months, but I, I don't know if this is just for any general piercing because I swear lobes are not four months. It also says that I can't swim for six weeks, which I don't know whether to believe that as well because I researched it on the NHS website and it just says 24 hours, so I don't know, but this is what this leaflet is saying. Yeah, that's basically the aftercare. You've just got to make sure it does not get infected. Um, the guy gave me some like sticky pad things to put on them if I do go swimming or whatever, just in case. And the last thing is I've asked you guys some questions over on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. I haven't had a look on all of them yet, but I'm gonna have a look what questions you've asked me and I'm gonna answer them for you. First question is from Chloe Fraud. I believe that's how you say it. It's on Snapchat. And she just said, did the second piercing hurt the same amount as the first one? Now, as I said, I can't remember the first one, but I feel like this did hurt a lot more. I don't know, but it did hurt. <laughs> the next question is from Olivia underscore 71. She said, how many piercings do you have and do you plan on getting any more? I love your videos, by the way. Thank you very much, Olivia. Um, I have three piercings in total. So I have both of my lobes and I have my belly button pierced. 
and do I plan on getting any more? I wanted my tragus pierced and maybe my cartilage, but after that, yesterday, I don't know anymore. Evie Joanna said, did your other piercings hurt more? No, I don't think they did. I think this is probably the worst one yet. I think my belly button hurt less. Um, Olivia underscore 71 also asked, um, I have 12 piercings. Do you think that's too many? What piercings would you ever get? So I've answered the other piercings I would get. But I don't think 12 is too many. Like, it's a personal thing. If you want that many piercings, go for it. It's your body. And if it looks cool, it's awesome. And then the last question I have is from Chloe Rains, one of BFFs from YouTube. And she just said, what piercings do you like but wouldn't get? Which I think is a really good question. Personally, on other people, I really like nose piercings on some people and I would never get my nose pierced because it's just not my thing to have piercings on my face. I think that's one that I like on other people but I wouldn't get myself. If you have any more questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll respond to all of them because I love you guys. So that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and yeah subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!